Welcome everyone to a fun little evening update here from our T2 and other low level and not so low level fun daily Linux and hardware and software stuff. And for you who have seen now that we do this T2 Linux not only for 20 years but also from ARM to x86 and all the MIPS and Spark and everything else in between, you might have anyway told me that hey there is no support in this NeoFetch and I was like what? <laughs> so yeah I found out that this NeoFetch stuff is the latest and greatest and you're not taken seriously if you don't have support for that and if you are wondering just like I did what the freaking heck that is then it is this here this system information thing here written in shell script because 2020 but seriously actually not the worst idea and at least it runs everywhere from probably IRIX to so did IRIX probably not ship with bash 3.2 but anyway you get the idea so somehow that is the latest and greatest probably I missed this a little bit late to this party but yeah anyway also drop frames um, so yeah I quickly so I run this here and downloaded this and do I have here the first output so obviously this NeoFetch didn't have support for that and uh, probably this scroll too far away because now yeah, did we anyway so obviously uh, it needs support for t2 and other fun distributions and i quickly added support for this because that's what we're doing if it's not there we patch it and as you see uh, just some random stuff here from doing so so initially yeah unfortunately that scrolled away um so that is how this stuff looks like and um only 44 yeah welcome everyone so this is how this stuff looks like on ubuntu or so it looks like that but certainly we're not rocking ubuntu here so for us it only displayed some winter uh, some generic linux without these packages so it was here os linux i could actually theoretically show you this let's rm here also probably that is maybe too small let's retro term that oops yeah retro term that is close it only on this channel and So let's quickly re-emerge this here because why not and um, so I not only did I patch in T2 maybe I should have done this on the live stream but yeah whatever use this house T2 trunk so rm package contrib of course I added this neo fetch so for you to play along at home on the octane p3 spark and all the other fun stuff in between T2 so that is some minimal patch for that emerge no, not lit kaka but uh, neo fetch and because we have it installed already force it and then not only can we take a look how it looks with uh, this uh, cool intro cool cool retro term neo fetch yes yeah, this is how it looks actually looked a little bit slower so this is pretty generic here obviously and um, the biggest problem of this is uh, certainly would be nice to have more than linux but the other thing is that it doesn't play the it doesn't it doesn't play it doesn't list the packages, and uh, certainly that would be nice to have for you to play along at home, and um, also drop frames. Yeah, somehow I probably need to check here also um, my routing stuff because somehow this should be UDP, right? I slightly wonder why is here apparently really some outgoing package stuff. So uh, whatever, probably need to optimize here my own routing maybe. Which is why today for all the stream breakage runs this now on the router. So um, this is a generic version. I patched this a little bit so now it not only shows you correctly the T2 version, which of course it takes dynamically after my patch from SDE version here. This looks like this. So also for you not only what fun stuff exists that you probably did not even knew that exists. So in the source it is here gobo linux version and whatnot os release from fedora fame of whatever of course we don't have this so for us it's sde version so we simply um, load this file here into a variable with this variable expansion here and uh, then if it's like some tiny version then remove here the last because you can have there tiny and not tiny whatever so remove the date here because why not after the space here in SDE version so 
And packages would be, we have this mine package, although the files are in var ADM packages, I could have directly ls this, but as here was already packaging stuff, I was like, yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter much, so mine, mine minus q, that works fine for all the other RPM whatever stuff. And with this little patch, we have here a fine OST2, how it should be if you play along at home and want to show your friends and family your most recommendable, amazing build from source, vanilla and raw like sushi Linux distribution. And the packages correctly of all the fun stuff that we emerged in the system of OBS. And uh, yeah, also as a side effect, if you have a router IPTV in a hotel and you run this, then you might identify some T2 that you know what you are using. There are also some environmental controls and uh, other 3G routing equipment or wherever they might have used T2 or your wireless router and fun stuff. And uh, yeah, some logo generic you see uh, without this patch, there is this Tux, which yeah, I just for the fun, of course, it's not the most pretty. Um, probably yeah, that is here. I was messing a little bit around with that. For this, I actually added this lip caca there because uh, ASCII art, but um, I figured that is too annoying. I had here some ASCII art somewhere, which probably did I unmount this already or. Oh, uh, was it in? Probably it wasn't another terminal actually. Probably. I was messing around with some evil eye here. It was this. It actually looked relatively okay ish. Um, even because this old fashioned decades not updated AA lib, probably with security vulnerabilities. <coughs> anyway, um, this is why I added also so two new packages today in T2 um, lib kaka for modern ASCII art. Modern also in five years not updated. No, no, whatever at least as far as I found. But the ASCII art, the old fashioned AA lib for ASCII art library, didn't have an example program and uh, didn't really want it to mess further. I found libkaka package this. It came here with image to text. Um, and uh, yeah, that looks like this. So the issue is that this is using here some um, colors. So it's like allocate two colors of two and seven and stuff. And then it's setting this color variables for all the other ASCII art imagery here and um, I didn't feel like really if you so be my guest if you want to improve this certainly this T2 stuff leaves a little bit too desired. I wanted to use some some angry tooks with T2 there but it doesn't scale too well. Well I actually probably but the issue is uh, if I sit here one hour or two I could probably make this ang ang angry uh, penguin stuff with T2 there or something workable but yeah whatever. I sent this already upstream so not only Maybe it would have been worse too, yeah, but also something routing wise, I slightly wonder. Hmm. How come this sun? I mean, this should be UDP. What could be the issue of not sending this packet? So, anyway, some more network stuff to be analyzed another day. So, not only did I patch this in, which probably maybe leave in the comments below if you always want to see this live here, but maybe the summary is more useful. Um, the code I've already shown you. Um, so this is how this stuff looks uh, here of also more of this uh, fame if you're interested in this fun stuff and if you were wondering if you saw this already sometimes that is the latest and greatest on uh, <coughs> Linux master race or so they say. Leave me in the comments below what you think about this fun stuff. And last but not least I already a pull requested here, which was this already accepted because 12 open. If you are lucky, then live on this channel it was just accepted a minute ago. Um, let's see, maybe. Merge pull request. Yeah, yay! And within 10 minutes it is live there in NeoFetch. So the next release there for your next Linux on your next P3 Octane Spark. ARM, BOARD, RISC V, FPGA and other fun stuff on this channel will correctly identify T2 Linux. Seldom so shout out there, seldom was a pull request um, uh, pulled in uh, as fast as this one. So amazing stuff. Totally recommend it if you want to see your system identification. Anyway, that's the update for today. Of course, we also have done more serious stuff, but more later or this weekend. I hope you enjoyed this brief upgrade. I know also this, by the way, there was a test stream for this bloody toxic scale, which by the way, I hope audio was fine. I didn't check this. 
but I probably have to do some, maybe I prioritize, I, I mean, this is silly. Um, what could be wrong with the stupid routing here? Because I think as here are some dents in this, 1800 drop frames, that is certainly not amazing. So probably um, I have to reset, reboot the router, the update also, yeah, fun stuff, this uh, router has an uptime of, uh, and you also see the IP address, but whatever. Um, the router has an uptime of some days, so probably should, um, yeah, up 65 days because uh, it's Linux. And um, yeah, in the meantime, I've already compiled multiple uh, new stable kernels, but you know the drill already, we get, you know, already a two times a week stable patch update stuff. So yeah, each time I build a new kernel, <laughs> there is a new stable update, which probably, fun fact, um, speaking of which, is this February the 5th? Probably we didn't have that, but anyway, we switched to, so what did they do here in terms of Linux um, out of bounds? Um, allocate smaller transmit headers, both out of bounds right in, uh, we had this already in the other live stream, I guess. And probably some reverts of, yeah, of course, five megahertz and more reverts of watchdog use to late work. Anyway, um, ah, and also never can fix too many null pointer deal references. Anyway, uh, that's it for this update. I hope you enjoy this. Also, if you want to uh, contribute and don't want a Patreon and uh, whatever, um, feel free and spread the word here that some YouTubers doing some fun Linux stuff and it runs on a PS3 and SG Octane fun stuff and um, spread the word on Reddit and Wikipedia and stuff, which also, yeah, we need to do a new Wikipedia article. It is somewhat depressive. So not only did this NeoFetch have support for Linux versions that even I from one or the 1010 <coughs> Linux distributions never heard, uh, which Fun fact we could also do here at the end of the live stream. It's certainly open source, we heard about that one. But if you look in here, you will probably wonder, well, besides it has support for macOS of all versions, but yeah, it's probably not that such a surprise. But was it, um, let's see, uh, Linux. So who of you heard about, well, Alp, um, Anashi, Aki, uh, Entergos, Antix, uh, all of those of, uh, yeah, seriously, Gallium OS, I mean, Frugal were at least I heard of, Exerbo, uh, Draga, I mean, seriously, and there is no support for Rock Linux, aka T2. Um, yeah, but now there is, and um, yeah, we also need to work on a T2 Wikipedia article. This is so hilarious. We once a decade ago had uh, not only Rock Linux, but T2, but um, some when some ten a decade ago it was deleted for not news word not not very enough, which is certainly not cool, which is also hmm, really sad. So yeah, you can help spread the world, uh, spread the word uh, into the world. It doesn't cost a thing, and uh, eventually I need your support to um, have enough relevance for a Wikipedia article again because certainly that is super annoying. Certainly. You're not taken seriously without a NeoFetch or Wikipedia article. That's it for today. I hope you learned something. And I learned that I somehow need to check our router, certainly reboot this freaking Linux with the latest stable release. Probably time to build the latest stable release anyway. And, um, or actually I probably should check. I wonder if, if it's this stupid Intel. I mean, the question is, is this, could also be actually, uh, do we have to live? Um, oh, wait a second, we have this here in the, need to, do I have here nload on, no? Let's emerge and load of missing only. Why we have this failing? Um, of course, right now, 1800 drop frames. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. We have more stuff, but that's coming soon. As usual, leave me in the comments below what was most interesting. Wow. Also, yeah, can't make this stuff up. Even nload checks more than it compiles sources. And, oh, wait a second, this was GSIP. Did I not? Uh, oh, 
so only only this type of probably I should error out there with some unsupported something. But nload also checks quite some stuff there. Yeah, even that comment was not wrong. Even nload checks more in the configure than um, it is compiling. So yeah, slightly wonder then if uh, did I actually I closed already probably the router thing. Uh, artwork wise, if you are into artwork and want to contribute some, um, want to contribute some, so yeah, this also was window manager quit. Uh, so much to that amazing shortcut, probably that shouldn't be that close. Also, did I not switch? I thought I switched to that anyway. Yeah, that's it for today. Also. Uh, oh, wait a second, this is why this should be on the wrong screen. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, just another tiny fail, but uh, yeah, I need to check the routing and I hope you learned something and I hope to see you soon for all the next videos and fun stuff coming soon.